This is Adam Scott Want, professor and technologist from John Jay College of Criminal Justice, part of the City University of New York. This podcast is for my students, and it's actually for any student in courses that I'm involved with. Therefore, this podcast is completely irrelevant to the general public. The topic of this podcast is extra credit assignments and how they apply to my students. Why extra credit? Why do I give extra credit opportunities? Because extra credit is actually a way for me to get you more involved with both the education process and your school. As you're about to find out, the extra credit opportunities that I offer my students are lectures, workshops, and other types of events around the college. Giving my students some incentive to attend these lectures, workshops, and other types of events is important to me. Therefore, I allow all of my students four points of extra credit by attending lectures, seminars, and workshops that I identify. Only opportunities that I identify count as extra credit, and I announce all of these opportunities on my Twitter account. Here's an example of the tweets that I put out during the semester. I always mark extra credit opportunities with hash EC so that you know it's an extra credit opportunity. Earning a point of extra credit is easy as following four steps. The first step is to attend or watch an opportunity. These opportunities will be identified on my Twitter account. Next, write a two-page reaction paper to the opportunity you attended. Third, tweet out the response paper tagging prof underscore want and John Jay College. Fourth, Upload the paper to Project Gnosis, specify the date and time you tweeted the paper. Let's look at each of these steps in more detail so you can get a better understanding. Let's discuss step one, the opportunity. The extra credit opportunity will be announced via my Twitter account, prof underscore want. I announce several opportunities a month, and sometimes it's hard to find opportunities, but I do my best. These are opportunities that either I run across or students bring to me, and I deem that they're appropriate for use in this extra credit program. These opportunities involve lectures at the college, workshops, and online videos that you are welcome to watch. I try to tweet out as many things as I could find, but sometimes I might go a few weeks without tweeting anything. It just means nothing appropriate has crossed my desk. If you find something you think is appropriate, please send it to me on Project Gnosis, and if I think it is, I will tweet it out to the entire class. Most of these opportunities require attendance, although some do not, and you could complete them online. If attendance is required, you must attend the entire event, not just a segment of it. I know this is inconvenient to students that work full-time, however, I do my best. I'll tweet out as many other events that I could find, things that you do not have to do in person. On average, I tweet out 10 to 20 events per semester. After you attend the opportunity, the next step is the response paper. The response paper sometimes called the reaction paper, should be two to three pages double-spaced standard APA margins. This is not a summary of what you saw or learned. It is a response or a reaction to what you've learned or experienced. How do you feel about what you've learned? What has this experience taught you? Write that up in two to three pages and that would qualify as your response paper. Once you finish your response paper, tweet it out for the world to see what you've learned. You will need to figure out a way to host your paper online. You can't fit your paper into a tweet, so you'll need to find a way to link to your paper from an online hosted service of some sort. Perhaps you'll post the paper on your blog. Perhaps you'll use a Dropbox public link to link to it. There are many different ways to accomplish this. It's up to you to figure it out. Include in the tweet the name of the event, link to your paper, and don't forget to tag prof underscore want and John Jay College. The idea here is to show the world what you've learned at John Jay College. Here's an example of an ideal tweet. The tweet reads, My reaction to the cybercrime lecture on mobile forensic at prof underscore want at John Jay College with the link to download or take a look at the reaction paper. It is okay for you to post your tweet from an anonymous or handled Twitter account. The Twitter account and the paper itself need not contain your actual name. In addition, from time to time, I have students that have certain privacy concerns. If you do, please feel free to see your professor. Once you've tweeted it out for the world to see, upload it to Project Gnosis. Once you upload it to Project Gnosis, remember in the body of the ticket to note the date, time, and Twitter handle you use to post the reaction online. This should help me go and find it so that I can confirm that you've done it properly. Each opportunity you attend and then follow the steps will result in you earning one point of extra credit towards your GPA. You could earn up to four points maximum per semester. 
This means that for every extra credit opportunity you attend, tweet out the response paper and upload a project gnosis, you receive one additional point on your GPA with a maximum of four. Let's say your GPA was 89, which would earn you a B plus. With four points, your GPA is now a 93, a solid A minus. Students that are taking more than one course with me in any given semester should rest assured that for each point of extra credit, that point will apply to all the classes you're taking with me in any given semester. They do not carry forward, however, to future semesters. Let's talk for a second about deadlines. You must complete this entire process, including posting on Twitter and Project Gnosis, within two weeks of attending or watching the opportunity. No matter what, all extra credit must be completed by the last day of classes. That's right before finals start. Remember it's a four-step process. Step one, attend or watch the opportunity. Step two, write a two to three page response or reaction paper. Step three, tweet out the response to the world. Step four, upload the response to Project Gnosis, specifying the date and time you tweeted it out. I know it might be a bit inconvenient to have to do some extra work but most of these extra credit opportunities are actually quite interesting. If you have any feedback, please feel free to send it to me via Project Gnosis or schedule office hours at officehours.want.us.